Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by the support of Scott Savage and dozens of people like you. Thank you, Scott, and thank you, everyone else. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 12.35 on 4.20, which to me means exactly fuck all. So, because that's just not how I party. So check this out. This is cool. Come on around over here, Paul. Don't bump the ladder. Don't bump the ladder. the laser. We got like, right. we got like Lake Mead down here. No, it's way better now. All right, check this out. This is a four square box. Yes. Wow, you need to caffeinate. I don't know if my fucking image stabilization can help. I told with that. you, I'm not, like I didn't get any yesterday. I got to get twitchy motherfucker. I got to I got to get my fix, you gotta man. You got to get laid. <laughs> Damn. You it's, need some time on a boat and you need to get laid. I need I need caffeine. Find yourself a nice Jewish boy or something, but you just got to like chill the fuck out. <laughs> you need anal bleaching. <laughs> You know why? Because you're an asshole that needs to lighten the fuck up. <laughs> you're only I'm getting the shot, man. I'm the you're fuck. only, you're only making the Christ. you're only making the camera twitch more by making Jeez. me laugh. Fuck. Oh man. All right. So this is a four square box. Okay. Just, this is this is a bad idea, but just, okay. Just, okay. I'm trying. I am re I'm using two hands to hold this thing. <laughs> This is a four square box. Yes, it is. And this is a gazinta. Gazinta, because this. this is a three quarter inch gazinta. Yeah, because this, this goes into the box. And the conduit goes into the thing. This well, is a three quarter inch gazinta. So, on the box, and this is neat, this is clever. It used to be, back in the day, and still for some a non trivial amount of applications, you have to have a knockout. You have to have yes. a hole in the box. And you don't Pre want to drill a hole no, no, in the box. No, 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 no. It's just burrs and it's bad, it's pain. Yes, use a knockout. Well, pre, this pre, box pre punched holes. Yes. Pre made knockouts. Yes. So, what I can do, and this is really cool. Okay, you can, you can see there. Do you want to climb up on the thing? No, I don't. Okay, so you can see there, there's two rings. Now watch this. If I, if I just smack the middle one, by the way, never use a screwdriver as a chisel. I'm up here, Paul. I'm up, I'm, I'm, I'm up I'm here. I'm getting the box. Okay, we'll get to that. But never use a screwdriver as a chisel unless it's actually designed with, with a big a, steel smack in yeah. it. So this, I smack it, and now I get a hole. Okay, yes. and I can just... Twist that right off, and, and now I have, I have a nice, clean, good hole. Yep. But this hole isn't big enough. Nope. I've had that problem before. So, on this particular hole, because the other holes you just see you get the circle. That's right. it. That's going to be a half inch hole no matter what. This well, can a be a hole for a half inch conduit. Yeah, a hole for a half inch conduit, yeah. Yeah. So, this hole has a second layer though. So, I can, I can upgrade from a half. To a three quarter. To three quarter. Awesome. It's like nothing. Like like easy. I can just go. bend that, and now I got a big pipe. So we got a set of Greenlee punches oh, for doing oh, oh. them. Knockouts. Greenlee knockouts. knockouts. Yeah. Well, we accidentally got the conduit set, so all the dimensions are weird. Are weird yeah. because you get you get a half inch Greenlee knockout. Is it for rigid conduit or EMT? I'm not certain which, but it's like. The, the, the half inch one makes the hole that's the half inch size. That fits of that the pocket. half inch conduit. Yeah. Exactly. So there you so go. That, that confused the hell out of everybody when we first got them. And this part right here is called a bang ring. Because you give it a good bang. Yes. You it down. Can, well, there's two ways to do it. You can, you can do it. There's a fancy wrench. There is a fancy wrench. Have you ever seen one? Yes. We actually bought one. Yeah? Yeah. I have one. It's sitting on the table over there. I have, I have both wrenches. They're kind of cool. There's two different wrenches, and each wrench has two different ends. Yes. But it's not like they're two different sizes or two different types of ends. The difference on the ends Rigid is one end is loosened, one end is tightened. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, they're right over here on the corner of the I'll table. Take, I'll, take, sure. I'll try to take So, it. all right, so we got a box. And we're going to need you. My M12 Milwaukee Impact Driver. I love this tool. Also, Impact Driver? If you're, yeah, it's a little impact driver. Oh, cool. If you're doing electrical work like this, yes. Use an impact driver, not a regular screw shooter, 
and get a six inch bit and I absolutely recommend T25 Torx bits and screws. Okay. I'm never going back to Phillips head. Like Phillips head is for what you have to, but T25 for where you can. Now this. It's like they used to have the square ones for that. Robertson Drive. Yeah. A Canadian no less. Mr. Kidwell, I need to go this way, like the whole okay, scaffolding. Okay, I'm in the whole scaffolding. The whole okay. scaffolding, this way. Are like, you locked? You are not locked. I okay. am never locked. I am free and easy. Don't bump the Oh, ladder. you're going the wrong way. Okay. No, I gotta go this way. All right, well, you're gonna hit the ladder right now. No, I'm not. Okay, and this is good enough. So we're gonna slide our conduit down to get it right where we want it, nice and centered. It's like I'm trying to walk around here without... You have an issue, Paul? I'm having issues. So, so you actually got it. Isn't that lovely? I would have never thought to use an impact driver going into wood. Oh, it's so much easier. Really? It's so much better, and you get things. Okay, I. Now I, you don't want to do this with like a big air impact. Right. But with the little Milwaukee M12s, mm -hmm. I fucking love these tools. Like, most guys, like big burly fuckers like you and Batman and Joy, they like the M18s. Mm -hmm. Which is great, unless you have to hold it over your head all fucking day. Okay, I'm a little guy! I'm buck 30, man! I'm a little guy! These little M12, okay? Great. That's all I need. For all right. this, like, there are applications where this doesn't have the stones, but that, my camera weighs more than that. It's great, I love it. Impact driver. Alright, so now we got that in. Oh, you were talking about that square drive, okay. the Robertson drive? The yes. Robertson drive is still used a lot for something I deal with. What's that? This is a, a number two Robertson drive. Okay. These are used in electrical a lot in uh, any square D circuit breaker. Yeah. This will fit. Um, this will fit right here. Square D, square drive. Yeah. That works. Okay, this will fit right here just fine. Um, this will fit... In uh, a lot of breaker boxes, like the neutral bus, mm -hmm. if you look at the screws on a neutral bus, they got square holes. All this, they got square holes. It'll work, and it's way better than a Phillips. Especially this is my one for working in a box, which is why it's insulated. Yes. Um, way, way cool. But it's the square drive's a lot more prone to camming out. Mm -hmm. The trade-off is it's self-centering, and like this, and it doesn't cam out as easily as a Phillips head. Phillips head's a terrible fucking design. It was what self-centering was the concept there for when you're going into work. like this will. Do fly that out, which is really bad in a breaker box. That's so, bad news, yes. Yeah. All right, so we're good here. Now i got to tie this to this. And for that, we gotta, we got to take some very precision measurements. Okay, so we're going to go from there to there, right? Uh-huh. Okay. That's about what we want. Ish. So we take this. Cut a about three eighths off of that. Okay, now I got half inch kind of do it. Now I just marked box to box minus about three eighths because we're gonna lose a quarter inch with the fittings, and I like having a little wiggle room. And I'm just gonna unscrew that, put it in, put it back. So we grab a pair of half inch ends and our overkill cutters. These are this is an awesome pounder cutter. I really like this cutter. Like better than my other one, but uh, you it's had just... a conduit cutter that had like extra bearings or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I've got a really nice one, some fucking place. It's around here somewhere. So, now uh, the cool thing about half inch is you score it a bit. And there's guys that do this, like professionals. I are not a professional. The guys that do this for real. We'll do like two runs around it, and then, and then just snap it. Which is cool if you're built like you, but if you're built like me, that's easy. And I take it snapping, it cuts down on the burrage. Oh yeah, but burrs aren't a problem because you there's got the this tool. tool. Okay, this tool. Remember that symbol when you're looking in the bag. It doesn't mean it's a weird straight blade screwdriver. This is a conduit deburring tool. I was wondering what that was. I saw that before and I had yep. no clue. This is, this is that tool in your dad's toolbox that you always wonder, what the fuck is that for? All right. Conduit deburring Give tool. Give that here. Conduit deburring tool. There you go. Now you know. And if you don't know, now you know. All right. So. Put some background on that. Now we've got, we got a bridge across from A to B, so we're going to smack this one out. Who makes that? 
It's Klein. a tool in my electrical pit. It's Who makes it? Klein. All of my electrical hand tools are Klein. I don't, like I don't, I don't, like I don't the only time I do conduit is when I'm over here with you, so that's not something well, I really see? need myself. But That's because I don't plumb. But if you want to do some plumbing, I got a project for you. Man, you got a water I leak got, over there. I got a water leak over there. Yeah, it's where Blake Mead is coming from, I think. I can't plumb worth the dam. I wouldn't make a pimple on a carpenter's ass. My problem, my, my problem with doing copper sweat joints now, Yeah. they change the solder. So you're doing this with like old school, It's like your, old your school private stack? Yeah, yeah, I use my, yes, yeah. exactly. That stuff works. The new stuff, I hate. No, I, I can't, I can't plumb, I can't, I can't carpenter. I can electrical, but I can't residential electrical. Like it's your industrial. It just kills my fucking soul. Romex. <laughs> Fuck Romex. That puss ass bullshit. I hate Romex. So if I'm if I'm building my own workshop, you're doing in my own house. We're gonna have EMT. Now I'm not a professional electrician by any stretch of the imagination. You can tell because I'm still doing this, and if I was a professional electrician, I'd been done 20 minutes ago. But and you do. How much do electricians make an hour now? A lot of money. It's a good job. It's a damn good job. It's one of the. It's one of those things. It's one of the trades. See the end of that? Yes. You know what that's for? Uh, the nut on the outside of the conduit. To, yes. Yeah. Yes. It perfectly fits. Perfectly Black. fits and keeps it from sliding out sideways. Yep. Oh man, I can do pull-ups off of that. Beautiful. All right, so that one's done. Now I could go, that go out here and do this one, but I'm not because I got my laser line, Paul. Yeah. It goes all the way down here. It gives me a nice straight line. And what I did is I should put the laser on the, on the ladder. I put a tape measure on the floor about five feet out from it yeah. to that wall. And I put a tape measure over there to that wall. And at the eight foot mark on the tape measure, I just took my white e-cig yeah. and stood it up because the laser will reflect off it really well. Mm -hmm. Hit eight feet on this tape, eight feet on that tape, and now I got a line that I know is exactly eight feet off that wall. Awesome. Which is useful in the future because it's my workshop, and every now and then you need to just eyeball and go, is that about eight feet? And you know that this conduit is exactly eight feet off that wall. This conduit's exactly six feet off that wall. And the next one will probably be two feet off the wall. Okay. So I don't need all this conduit in here. But it's better to have it and not need it. Then, Conduit is cheap. Yeah. So better to have okay. and have and not need than need and not yeah. have. Yeah. So why not fucking put in a lighting grid? Because <laughs> some of these will be for outlets for lighting. Some of these will be for drops. Some of these will be for emergency lighting. Some of these will be for sloth drying. Sloth you, you, drying. You hang up baby sloths, neighbor. Ah uh, yes. I'm not kidding. That's how you dry a baby sloth. You hang them up. <laughs> this is the thing. Can you slide me over to the end of this pipe? Okay. And I'm gonna do a thing. Ah! Yeah. You bumped the fucking ladder, Paul? I bumped the fucking ladder. Oh light. my shit! Stop! Don't move! Don't move! We're here! And thankfully, I already have a piece of pipe in here, and you just bumped it a little bit. So I can put that. Don't touch anything. Just give me a second. Are we good here? We're straight up. We're centered on the pipe here. We're centered on the pipe there, so the line is straight. Alright, good. Hey, Paul. Just get me away from this ladder. Get away from the fucking ladder, Paul. It would be better for me to pull than push. Pull, I'm gonna... push, whatever, whatever satisfies your deeper needs, Mr. Kidwell. I believe in you. You pull, I'll steer. How about that? Well, all the wheels are flipping around and it's, it's, it's making me crazy. Can go this way as much as you can. I'm against the rack over here. Okay, just as much as you can. Flexible. We're right there. Stop oh. there. Stop there. Good. Right here, because I'm going to put a box here. It's a step back from my other box, but that's okay. Why did I do that? I don't know. Why did you do that? I had to have had a reason. Oh, because of the triple beams here. There's a floor above it. Yeah. So we're going to come back to here for this box. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to grab a box right here, pre-made pass-through, ready to go. We're going for this beam right here. Yes. Uh, Relocating. Hold on. You 
get where you got to be. I'm taking a bite of my breakfast. Okay, you can do that. I'm taking a bite of my turkey. I got a scone over here for you. So I've got center down the beam, kind of our conduit's going to be right here. Yeah, there's things on the floor. Okay, I might even be able to, I might even be able to do this in situ. Did you tighten the conduit in that other box? Yeah. That's a problem. It's not a problem. If I can swing this around, if I got the room, I'm cool, but this is a gigantic conduit cutter, so I don't know if... If you undo it. the uh, clamp, you can move that sideways away from the duct, I guess. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's too tight. No, uh, loosen, loosen the... Tight. Take it out of the clamp and just hold it sideways. Huh? Take it out of the clamp and you can lower it and move it away from the duct and then swing all the way around. I could do that. That's not, that's not an idea completely without merit. Yeah, we're looking straight into that light bulb. Don't look into the light. Don't look, stay away from the light. <coughs> now when you use one of these, see how the wheel? Yep. See the wheel there? And mm -hmm. I'm going towards like the wheel, and then there's the tail around the back. Yeah, you drag That's the, the direction. You drag the tail, you don't push the tail. Yes. When you tighten, how much do you tighten? Quarter I know a turn? Quarter turn, but how much you tighten should be somewhere between if you're if you're breaking wheels, you're tightening too much. And if it's taking too long, you're not tightening enough. Now there's guys, rugged manly men, who will just reef on this thing. And deform the pipe into an oval and, as they're going yeah, around. You'll you'll fuck up the pipe. But they don't care because they're rugged manly men. They have tools and they just fix it later. I'm trying to use support as much as possible to cut down on the tremble. I do appreciate your support, Mr. Kidwell. I, I would just be cool with you having an IV infusion of some manner of caffeine. I need an A-line. I need an A-line of Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew. Monster Energy. Used to drink Monster Energy all the time. Yeah, I remember those days. Mm -hmm. We're never going back to that. I would buy a, f they came in four packs of 24 ounce cans. I drink two on the way into work and I drink two on the way home from work. I drank a Red Bull once. Once. How long did it take you to climb down from they the ceiling? They never let me do that again. <laughs> It isn't that I had a problem. It's everybody around oh, you. See, I squeeze too much and I crush the thing. So here's how you unfuck it when you squeeze it too much and crush the pipe. That's another use for your Klein deburring tool. Yes. That is actually very handy. Okay. Can we talk the music now since you're walking? You should probably do that. I get, we got Steven but working diligently with you. And I know that Moose likes her, her Motown hits. I'd like you to stand in front of the laser for hours on end listening to the hum of it. Oh, I'm fine with that. I'm not, I'm not disparaging that you choose to listen to music while you work. I do as well. I'm disparaging that you listen to the music like a seven-year-old cat lady. <laughs> Music of seven-year-old cat ladies in my class this morning. We had. You do class with seventy-year-old cat ladies. I know. Which is my point. It was David Cassidy Day. Oh. My oh God. God. The fun. So, the frightening part about that is I could probably sing along to every one of those tunes. My was sister was a huge fan. Yeah. How old are you, Mr. Kidwell? Uh, let's not mention that. How old are you? No. How old is your sister? My sister is. 54. There you go! Rest my case. All right. She was in the news just last week. They caught her finally? No, she I was at some sort of conference. I don't even know where she works now. She's changed jobs. She was vice president at J.D. JD, JD Power. Powers? Yeah. yeah, she was the vice president at J.D. Powers for a while. Like three weeks ago, we, we had young people music. 
young people. Define young people. The monkeys. No. <laughs> I could sing along with everyone. Jeff Leopard, Queen. In sync. In, In sync. sync. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Backstreet Boys. Maybe some new kids on the block. Yes. And one Britney Spears. Uh, no. <laughs> and then in the middle of all of your the, flip the David Cassidy music this morning, just randomly popped up a Miley Cyrus song. Miley Cyrus, oh God. I was like, yeah, yeah. That's the chick with the wrecking ball that, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. She's cute. It was um, born in the USA. Yes. That's Bruce Springsteen. She also has a song called. Oh, okay. Made in the USA, something like that. Definitely uh -huh. not the Springsteen. But I was the only one in the room that knew that one. Lovely. Uh, Miley, 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 Cyrus, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus was like one of Disney actresses sort of She famous. was. Like, but so was Peaches and Cream. And I had a crush on her too. So, you know. Yeah, shake it a net. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I remember. I, I saw Annette Funicello on television. You're old viewer. enough to remember when Annette Funicello started to have issues with the A and the E. Hold on, A and the E? Yeah. What's the first word of her name? You remember when Annette your mouse could hears Annette? Yeah. There you go. That's she, got boobs, Paul. she got boobs. She got boobs. She got boobs. That was black and white, and she was wearing Mickey Mouse ears at the time. Who's the country with the clock that frightens you and me? G-E-R-M-A-N-Y, it's Germany. Hail there, how there, halt there. Now we're trying to do this. G E R M A N Y Germany unified unified. I teach you not to mess with German pride. I'm fine, thrive. We lost friends in Poland, but we still are hungry. G E R M A N Y Germany. Now it's time to say goodbye. Why the fuck did I put a clamp there? I have no idea. Why did you? Why put did a clamp? I put this clamp here? I have no idea. Because I was looking at that, being like, "Well, that's nice. That's better." I'm gonna fuck. I'm going to match the box, so I'm going to put a clamp here and just make it look better. Okay, you do that. It's not the same, but it's better. I've learned things since then. I did that one, you know, it was hours ago. Okay, hold on, hold on. We're, we're, the DTs are setting in again. So here's a useful skill. Hold Three on. inches. We're having a moment. You all right there, Paul? Jesus, fuck. So here's here's a useful thing to know, Mr. Kidwell. Three inches. Okay? Watch this. I will measure a right, conduit without actually putting the conduit in the air because I know three inches. Okay? Okay. So. Burp. You're good there? I'm good there. So Much I want to I wanna end up at this beam because that's where my box is on the other side, right? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to hook my tape measure right on the edge of the beam. Yes. Okay? And I'm going to go back to here to where I want my conduit to start from. Okay. And I'm going to read my tape at, let's say, 63 inches is groovy. Okay? Is groovy. 63 is where I want to be. Okay. Now the reason I can do it at 63 and measure off the far side of the beam yeah. is because if you look at the box, okay, that's the center, the holes down the middle of the center of the beam, right? Right. And from the holes to the edge of the box, it's two inches. It's a four by four box. It's a four by four box, so right? The, the holes down the so middle are two inches. Now the center, the two by four, yeah. is three quarters of an inch, half Three. and a half, because it's right. an inch and a half thick, right? Yes. So, I got two inches to where I want to be, the center of the thing. Right. Now, I got to remove a quarter inch because I, I need to play in the end. Because these. They take up. They take yeah. up. You lose about a little over an eighth. Okay? Right. So, a quarter and you're fine. So, I got my quarter inch, my two inches, and my three quarter inch to the thing. I got three inches. You got three inches. There you go. So, you measured out at 63. Measured out at 63. You're going to cut so it. So I'm going to cut my pipe at 60 inches, and I'm and set. Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. So here, this is this is the faith I have. A year holding the camera, so you can. So we'll, clip we'll time. 24 minutes. 30, 27. Start a new clip. Start a new clip. Starting a new clip. Clip. 
And we're back. And we're back. Okay, I need to get a new camera. Why? The level thing on this is just awesome. You have a... You have an RX100, don't you? Uh, yeah, I do. What version? It's got an old one. I got, I'd, have, I'd have to check. I don't wear it on I my hip. I think you got anymore. an M2. Could be. Do you want the level thing on yours? That would be nice. I can, I can do that for you. Want to know how? You can hack the software. No, see the button on the back that says display, D-I-S-P? Yeah. Press I it. I don't think mine has yours that does. feature. It does? It does. I'm going to have to check. Actually, I need a new camera. I think I got an issue with my If you're my, getting uh, a CC. new camera, yeah. there, you, don't, you don't want this. What do I want? Well, you might want this. But the one you want to check out is the RX-0 Mark II. R Not the RX-0. The RX-0 Mark II. Mark II. Okay. Yeah. Um, because if you want to take pretty pictures, if you want uh, to shoot high-speed photography, Okay. okay. Like 1,000 frames? Right. Okay. And if you want to shoot video? Video would be the main thing I would be wanting it for. The only downside with video on it is it doesn't have continuous autofocus. Okay. The reason it doesn't have continuous autofocus is it doesn't use the same battery as this or the little Sony action cams. Right. Um, it uses a battery that's half the size. It's only a 700 milliamp hour battery. But it's crush proof, waterproof, dust proof, shock proof, like it's tough as nails. So wearing it on my belt for like six totally months. Totally cool. Is not, okay. It's right there is what it looks like. Okay. It's my experimental blog cam. Um, because I recently had to replace that one. That camera is like Okay, I got old. weird I got a weird symbol showing up. What? There's an orange thing at the top. And the, the image got Temperature, you're overheating. I'm over here. Yeah, don't cover it with so much of your hand and don't touch the screen. Um, I'm not touching the screen. This, yeah, this camera, if you just roll with it a long time, will overheat. Now, we've been talking for 10 minutes. Do you know what our measurement was? 60 inches. Very good. How many? What do you mean, how many? How many inches? 60. No, 60 it's 63 zero. inches. We were going to cut that. Cut three 60. inches off. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm giving you the cut length. Don't do that, because then I'll take that down to 57 and fuck the whole thing up. Well, that would be your fault. Okay, that's 60 inches right there. I missed my fucking tape measure! I lost my tape measure, Paul. You lost your tape measure? It's down here, some fucking place. I got a 16 foot fat max that fits the hand, that fits the guy, that I just love. I love my 16 foot fat max tape measure. And I'm using a 35 foot fat max tape measure. That's a little long for what you're doing. Down that's, here. that's. I'm a guy who's used to, you know, I'm accustomed to dealing with a lot of length, but this is just too much for me. Get ready to catch this. Just put a hand down. Or say ah, like I can, I can hit a mark. Let me know if the little temperature thing goes away. It has not. It's still there. Right. Ow! Ah! You just hit the camera. Did you get the shot? I got the shot. It's all right, then. <laughs> See, if you had the RX on Mark II, you wouldn't have had that problem. It's totally fine. Moose will tell you. She knows all about... Oh, I got a... Is that what you're getting? Moose knows all about Sony cameras. Hello. Hello. I also know how waterproof is. Yes, I, I heard about that. Actually, ooh, ooh, ooh. Moose is the, one of the reasons why I got a new camera. Right Squeezed it too hard. You're, you're, yeah, you're reefing too hard I, on it. I was it. specifically referring to the moment that you saw me standing in a minor monsoon, and the camera's just... But this time when you went on one of your little photographic adventures, I sent you with a, uh, a waterproof camera because lessons have been learned. Yes, they have. So that may fall at any moment, just be careful. If you didn't know waterproof camera, why did you freak out when I dropped it in the water? Because it was... Because you had just killed a previous camera by doing exactly that. And I was like, really? God, um, woman! Very different situations, just so you know. Well, yes, this one didn't go in the ocean. It just went in a mud puddle. But you know how much water... The, you know how much the camera cares whether or not it went in... An ocean versus a muddle puddle? Well, one's salt and the other's grit. 
Hey. Yeah. Whose side are you on? Actually, the mud. Hers, there. of course. The mud there is quite salty. To be fair. It's like I. I, <laughs> I just wanted to show you a cute dog picture. You got a cute dog picture? I'm always down for a cute dog picture. Okay, be, given the choice of being on the wrong side of you or being on the wrong side of Moose, who would you pick? Aww. See, now that's a super cute dog picture. All right, Mr. Kidwell, I got to Oh, I got enough room. I got you got enough room? You got it covered? I just, I got to get this from this side because I can't. Yeah, I need to redeploy somewhere. This, I'm not getting good, I'm not getting good video. Like I'm seeing the back of your head. Did I fucking? What did you do? What's the issue? It's not an issue yet. I mean, you're right on the laser line. What's the issue? Different type of clam? It's not an issue yet. It's a, it's an issue now. What's the issue? This is a clamp for a half inch EMT. You don't need a clamp for three quarters. You need a three quarter clamp. Do you have any? I do. Do you know where they are? Yes. Where? Uh, Can I get one for you? Yes. Where? They're down there. Where's down there? I'm not entirely sure. But I have. Oh, that reminds I, me. Because it'll go. It's a, you really got to work for it. Okay, I am not seeing a box of clamps anywhere. Because you could you could use a half inch clamp for three quarter conduit. That's it's acceptable. It's just hard. Hey guys, we'll be back in a minute. You don't want to watch Kidwell rooting around for conduit clamps for ten minutes. So we'll be right back. They're there in that box. And we're back. Well, that's a wonderful view. I came up and I looked straight up your backside. I have a magnificent ass. So, the clamps are a size too small, but they'll do. They're not as elegant as I would like. But somehow, I shall endure this cheap travesty. And, if you take a look, you're right on. It's like there's things on the ground here that I can't walk through, so I can't get the good angles. What? Somebody dropped something. I dropped a thing because it was in reverse. How's my square? I'm, I'm going to say maybe not. A, not quite what it should be. Right. Not as square as it could be. Well, we're at millwright tolerances here. We and are you're for like, this particular thing. No, you're better. way better than that. It, 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 it ain't. It ain't pretty. It ain't perfect, but it'll do. What the fuck are you? Oh, this is, what is this? Romax. Romax. Isn't that way? Now, that's supposed to go through those beams. That's not supposed to be just hanging. Romax, man. It's, it's just it's, hanging on a metal duct. That's, that's the, the cloth, all, the fabric. I'm, I'm really looking forward to just taking all this and these and all the bullshit. And it's like, yeah. It's coming out and we're going, we're going EMT. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fabric and tar coated Romax, yes, right? Yes, it is. God, all that right, stuff Paul, is terrible. Let's take the next step. The next step, next okay. Step. What we're, going, we're going that way. So, how far? Well, look at the other side and you'll see the box. And we want to have about two feet in. Just go that way, I'll tell you where stop. It's like we're going, we're going. Just go that way. I'll we're going, the, we're, we're going the distance. It's going to be okay. Clearly you're going for speed. Well, there's things that I got to get around and I'm just, trying, just I'm trying to far. steer. As far I'm to trying, the left no, as no, no. Can. I'm trying to steer away from the rack oh, on the floor as far at the other the end. You Your left. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're getting there. A little bit more. Hold on. Things in the way. Okay. I can push you in after I get you down far enough. Okay, stop there. Okay. I take it you want to be pushed that away. A wee bit would be nice. Okay, give me a sec. 
Like I'm working on that side, so the more over there I get, the better this is. Well, there's a rack down here and there's stuff on the floor. Come on. All right, that's about all you got. Without getting creative moving other things. <sighs> now really, when we come down, well, I don't really have to worry about stuff along that wall over there because the conduit's going to come over that way for the next run over. We're going to have four in total. Two down the middle and one down each edge. Right. So the next thing over here that I'm going to care about is this area. So I'm going to want to have a box about here. And I got a box here. I got two boxes over here. So I'm good there. And I could, I could put a box at this point. And then my next one up to the thing. So just do two more and we're set. All right. So you ready? Let's get a measure. Actually, before we do that, we'll hang our clamp. What did I do on the other side? One clamp in a weird spot, too. Why did I do that? I'm going to put a clamp here because it sits better. It would be really cool if I could see the damn line. Well, I can tell from here that that box ain't square with the laser. Where? That box? Yeah, it's rotated. Oh, it's twisted a little bit. Yeah, counterclockwise. It happens. You know why? Why? Fucking shit, man. I'm blaming you. I'm not it's saying it's your fault. I said I'm blaming you. Upside down. Um, 68 is good. So 68 and a quarter is better. 68 and a quarter. Ah. That's a double beam, so a little less would be better than a little more. Yeah. 68 and a quarter. Go this way. Where's the microphones on this thing anyway? Same place they've always been. Up on top. I was holding it in an improper manner for you a moment. You horrible there. bastard. The internet will never forgive you. Don't reef on it so hard so you don't obble on the tool. I'm getting nervous over here. Quarter turns and around twice. Quarter turn. Quarter, around twice. And around twice. Quarter turn and around twice. Quarter turn and around twice. See if you if you don't go all the way through, you don't you don't end up with all the problems. But with three quarter and being up here, I'm just gonna go ahead. I have to, because <laughs> I can't like you know if you can just stand up and boom yeah, but I can't I don't I don't have the physical upper body mojo to do that. So we just get a little bit more intimate with her. So that's going to hang there. 
Um. What? You forgot to subtract forgot to three. Take the three inches off. I need. I need another bite. Do you? Do you need another bite? Yeah. You want your scone? Caffeine withdrawal headache is finally subsiding, so I'm doing better. Oh, hey. Um, oh, what? Close that window. Hold on. Uh, okay. Closing that window. Close or minimize? Closing. Closing. We are closed. Wait a second. Waking up 24 seconds per Okay, lead. now, on the bottom start menu, the little green one. That one with the that. goggles. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. You're about to learn. That's Streamlabs online broadcast system. Oh, I clicked it and we got, okay, powering up the clouds. Yeah. Sounds like a thunderstorm brewing. It, it frequently is when it's my show. Okay, there we are. What do All we right, do? Now, Go to stream starting. Stream starting. Boom. Click that. Now click bottom right, go live. Bottom right, go live. Ah. Now, top right, dismiss. Top right. Dismiss. I'm not seeing dismiss. There it is. Dismiss. Boop. Okay. Now, click primary camera. Primary camera, primary camera, primary camera. There. Right there. All right. We're on the internet. We're on the internets. Hello, internets. Okay. And we make another box. So there's the camera we're going through. I like the ring light on that. That's the Razor Kayo. Are you liking that? The image that I see here looks really good. It's a decent camera, but it's more show than go. More show than go. I've okay. had a lot of issues with onboard audio. Um, well, you don't do onboard audio anyway. It's got to, frequently, we are right now. Um, it's, uh, it's prettier and fancier than like the uh, Logitech one, the yeah. 922 or whatever. But the Logitech has been more reliable for me, more okay. robust. Um, okay. And for me, Robust and reliable are kind of important. Yes. But it's also really expensive. Um, Define expensive. Uh, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Okay, that ain't bad bucks. for it's, a it's good... It's between 70 and 100, somewhere in there. That ain't bad for a good webcam. It ain't bad if, like, it's a really good, like, professional level webcam, which is funny because really good webcams cost a lot more money than that. So you get it, you get it tight when you're about 90 degrees off. Okay, I want my screw to point down. Yeah. So you get it tight there. And then you, you take a pair of Lyman's pliers. And then you're really tight. And reef that fucker down. And yep. now your screw's so going the right way. Yep. Snug plus a quarter turn. That's where you want to be. Oh. What's that? What's this? Yeah. In my fucking way is what that is. Look, it's like a little plastic command strip. It's probably what they used to hang up the it's phone. It's a little. It's, it's it's. It looks like cable TV sort of clip. Yeah. Now nah, even cable TV installers tend to have better class than that. Uh, Ten. Some. I have lost your laser line. It's right here. You got it. Okay. Yeah. I 
can I can get back to it. All right, what it is is that previous box being rotated counterclockwise yeah, yeah, kicked yeah. the end of the pipe to yeah, the left. I know, I know. But so I can, at this end, we are kicked a little over. to the right. Get that right on that bolt. There we go. Now the line's going down the middle of the tube again. Yeah, but I got. Hold on, we're off. We're off. We're off focus. There. Okay, there. And now I can see the laser line on this one. Yeah. And I'm in the same spot on both. Yep. So I'm good. Until I put my screw in and kick the box over a little bit. That box. happens. All right. Um, I gotta do that clamp. There's a view for you. Only problem is you don't have the biceps for this view. Yeah, I never, I've never had much of an upper body. It's always been enough for me. Well, that's all you need. Yeah, that's tight. Okay, we're overheating. We're on the verge of overheating again. Okay, well, we'll be back in a minute. Pretty much done with this run anyway, and I right. hope you guys learned something. Hey, James. Doesn't have to be exact, but about hey, five feet. And we're back. So, Mr. Kidwell. Yes. We got a conduit that has to come across the roof, and it's got to come out, down, and back. We need about a little less than five feet. Okay. Right. This is about where we want to be. Okay. So, we're going to lose a little bit for our offsets, but about five feet should be okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut it at five feet. Oh, for fuck's sake. You all right? Well, it's yeah, waving. you're messing me up. Yeah, but you were waving around and I was waiting for you to hit me in the shin. I might. It could happen. Macho, macho, man. kept the whole length and started bending until you had the length in, or what you needed and then cut it after the fact. You can do it that way. Because right now... Or you could use the handy chart located on the side of your ideal EMT conduit bender that'll tell you everything you need to know. But we just need a couple simple dog works. So I'm going to start right at the end. Now the problem, half inch is really thin and easy. Three quarter actually takes me some work. Now I'm just going to pull that straight up. Okay. Right. That gives you what? Thirty or forty-five? That gives me thirty. Okay. okay I got thirty. Thirty. Okay. And then I'm going to hook it. Where do you, where do you think? Just after the bend. Just after the bend. Think that'll give us enough? Yeah. You think? Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I'm inclined to believe in you, Mr. Kidwell. Because you've got an honest face. A punchable face, but an honest face. Okay, and now we're vertical. Now that's the easy part. Well, boom. Here's the hard part. You have to put one on the other end. And they gotta line up. They gotta line up. Because <laughs> if it doesn't, it's gonna go right to shit. So we're gonna eyeball down there. Turn, 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 turn. That's uh, pretty close. All right? Yeah. No, nope. fuck, I turned it. It's really easy to turn it to. That's about right. I'll set that there carefully. Boop! OK, 
Okay, there's a 30, and then we're going to come just past our bend, right there, like that, and then we're going to line it up, oh, oh, shit, line it up reasonably close. Now they do put a tweaking tool on this. That thing, the bell end here. Yeah, I see that it's. Uh, you can put that in there, and then and then use that to tweak it. Like if you're a little a little off. Or whatnot. Okay, because like I did not know that was a feature. That, see how that's got a little. Yeah, it's got a little. It's got a little. Conduit? Yeah. Okay. You lay that flat. You put that in there where you want it. It doesn't work really well on this, but that's that's what the bell end is for. Okay. And I am a master of a bell end. Yeah. So that'll that'll do okay. Ish. It could be better. For varying it levels should, of okay. It should lay flat on the floor, and it don't. Like if I was a perfect Andrew Cole would have made this flat. Andrew Cole would have led us to fucking glory and victory with this. With this! And not me. Mine's kinky, because I am a kinky bastard. But we'll see what we can make happen. Also, I'm out of boxes, so we got to get in our boxes. We only have four boxes left in the box. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. And that's just about where I wanted to be. I could have fit five in if I was really cool. But... One, two, three, four, and we'll need one more to finish out the room, and I can find Well, I've got one laying on the table. And that's that whole run, and that's three quarters of the ceiling done, and then we're going to have one, two, three, four on this side, and then that's the entire ceiling done. Okay. That's pretty cool. We'll be back.